Herzlich willkommen auf unserem YouTube-Channel. Es ist wieder Zeit für ein neues Hands-on-Video. Heute geht es um den Reloop Mixon 8 Pro. Außerdem habe ich mir einen Special Guest ins Studio eingeladen. Wir werden heute das gesamte Video auf Englisch führen. Die Untertitel könnt ihr einfach unten auf der Leiste aktivieren. Wer der Special Guest ist und was dieses Gerät, was hier vor mir steht, alles so kann, das erfahrt ihr nach dem Gearporn. A warm welcome to all our viewers on YouTube right now. Um, yeah, today I already mentioned I have invited a special guest to our studio. Um, next to me is uh, the current world DJ champion and uh, Reloop artist. Um, he's also working as a cre creative consultant and a content producer for Reloop. Um, in the studio today is DJ Angelo. Welcome. Hi. What's nice up, Maurice? Nice to meet you. Good, Good to see you. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, we got invited a, a special, special DJ today um, for our vlog. Um, yeah, let's get to our actual product we have got in front of us today. It's the Reloop Mixon 8 Pro, a brand new um, four-channel hybrid DJ controller. Um, yeah, and it's available uh, for different software pieces, right? We got some different DJ softwares and uh, which software uh, pieces are available for this controller, Angelo? Yeah, so um, it's the successor to the Mixon 4 and really have taken things a step further with some brand new features. One of those key features is that it's compatible with Serato as well as DJ. So that's the first time this has happened on a four-channel controller, a professional standard four-channel controller. And you can obviously see immediately that we now have LED uh, screens on the jog wheels um, and a lot of other features that we'll get into now. Right. Today we got to build it up with uh, Algorithm DJ Pro, right? We got like two devices here. Mm -hmm. um, and um, that's also the software we're going to show you some features on today. Um, and yeah, let's start maybe with the first uh, key feature of this new controller, especially if you compare it to the old Mixon 4, um, we got a dual uh, USB audio interface built into that, right? That's right. Um, so you, can, you have the um, availability of two devices to be connected to this controller, and you can even do seamless transitions between these two devices, right? Between the two devices and between the two different software types. It's really seamless and it's a modern controller, so we have a USB-C port for all your new iPad Pros or uh, you know your your modern, your future-proof uh, gear, basically. So, yeah, it's really um, it's ready for whatever is coming next um, as far as DJing goes, and um, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, Great. Maybe maybe we can like show a quick transition between two tracks. Um, like uh, we got one track playing in one deck maybe, and then just so show that we can get to the other device real quick. Um, yeah. I so at the moment I'm running uh, the iPad Pro with uh, DJ Pro AI, and that's running on there. And if I wanted to, I could switch to the iPhone on the other side by going from USB A to USB B. And now I'm controlling the iPhone. Completely seamlessly. Yeah, right, awesome. So that's quite a nice key feature, I guess, uh, especially um, uh, for you if you want to transition between two DJs you got on your event um, going on and they both have different libraries, different devices. You just can connect them to the controller and do these seamless transitions. That's, uh, at least from my perspective, an, a nice keys, key feature for this controller. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so if we move on, we get some more nice key features on this, um, on this controller. Um, for example, that would be the uh, new Neural mix um, uh, compatibilities or the features that this uh, controller has on it. Mm -hmm. uh, Hardware-wise, I think we got two different ways to um, to uh, to do these neural mix transitions and the neural mix mixing. Um, you can do it by the uh, 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 you have each deck um, with uh, like 
potis and buttons for the Neuromix. So we got the effects section here with four potis and you can even switch them to the Neuromix functionality, mm -hmm. functions, I guess. Uh, you got buttons under it, you just activate it and deactivate it. Um, and you can use also the poti to do a soft transition between um, these, uh, I, I would call it like stems or uh, harmonics and uh, bass and vocals. Mm -hmm. And then at the bottom we have our performance pads where we can also get into these Neuromix That's functions, right? right? Yeah. We have dedicated uh, pad mode for Neuromix. Um, I'll show you on the app how Neuromix looks. So here on, on deck one, you can see the Neuromix display. And by pressing sampler twice, I now have the uh, Neuromix pad mode. And I'm now able to isolate whatever stems, stems I like, such as the vocal or just the drums or just the, the music, the harmonics or a combination of the two. And likewise, I can also uh, mute whatever I like as well. So yeah, so different ways of using Neuromix. And a third way that I've personally mapped, I've mapped the filter to control Neuromix filter. So going all the way from one side, just the drums to just the music. Yeah. So there's multiple ways of, of basically isolating your tracks. Yeah, a lot of, of ways how you can uh, like uh, get in touch with this new feature, with the new mix features. I like the RGB backlit um, uh, performance pads so you always see in which mode you actually are and which functionality functions activated and deactivated mm -hmm. or which different parts you've filtered out. Um, yeah, and you can, like uh, Angelo just showed us, you can also do a custom MIDI mapping to uh, get into this with uh, uh, different controls on the controller. Um, cool, awesome. Um, great feature. I, I can imagine a lot of creative ways how to introduce this into your set, into mm -hmm. your mixing styles. Um, uh, great. Let's get to the next key feature maybe. Um, mm -hmm. For me that would be the FX pedals. Um, right. If yeah. you take a first look on the controller you can see like we don't got just two, we got four of those. Yeah, right? uh, this is very unique. It's the first controller to have four FX pedals um, and yeah, we all know how much fun effects uh, paddles are to use. So the way that these uh, operate is that, let's say the track is playing, you would then arm whatever effect you want. And so in my first effects slot, I have echo. And this is armed and it will be triggered as soon as I basically trigger the paddle by holding it or by switching it into latch which keeps it on. So you have, of course, your wet dry here as well as your beat measure here. So yeah, it's great to have four for the first time, that's for sure. Yes, right. That's, I think, the first time we see like four FX pedals uh, on a professional DJ controller, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, you also mentioned in the intro that we got um, like um, um, uh, at the beginning that we got on jock wheel displays, right? Yeah. Um, there is a lot of information on it, actually, we can use if we w don't want always want to look on our display, I guess. Um, which kind of information do we have here? I think we've got like BPM, right? Yeah, everything you, sh you should need. So you can see your track time, which you can toggle to uh, time passed as well as oh, this one time remaining as well as the BPM and the pitch percentage of course and what pitch range you're in so yeah and of course the 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 actual position that the the track is playing you've got three rings the outside blue one is the the, the progression of the track where where it is in the in the it's, it's positioned across the whole waveform and the blue one and the white one is to indicate the the rotational display for, for scratching and cueing, that's all there as well. I get like a needle position. Right? That's right. Okay, yeah, yeah cool. Awesome. Um, nice feature also. Um, also another key feature we didn't have before on the Mixon, Mixon 4. Um, um, it's nice to see all these new features on this controller. Um, okay, so we talked about the on jog displays. Um, we got more features on it, right? So I think mm -hmm. we already mentioned that we have performance pads on this controller. Mm -hmm. um, actually, we got 16 of those, like eight for each deck. Yep. Uh, and we got different modes, right? Yeah, um, a total of 11 different performance pads across Serato and um, Algorithm DJ Pro. So you have everything you would expect, hot cues, loop rolls, um, sampler, pitch play, um, 
yeah, lots and lots. Scratch Bank as well for Serato users, so it's all possible from here. Yes. Uh, uh, and they feel really nice. Solid build. Um, yeah, yeah, and also, which is quite becoming quite a popular feature, we have a dedicated silent queue button. So that's becoming, you know, really useful for DJs who want to have a track playing silently with the faders open and then pressing a pad will just, you know, take that track to full volume instantly. So it's nice to have a dedicated button for that. Also, great new feature adding onto this new Mixon 8 Pro, which actually has such a lot of nice, cool features to include into your performance. Um, great, okay. So I think we mentioned all the new key features on this controller. Um, there are also some um, software uh, features we have with this controller. Uh, for example, the streaming surfaces, which are available. Um, I think there are like four of them, right? Mm -hmm. We got SoundCloud. Um, Beatport, BeatSource, and Tidal. And Tidal, Tidal is also yeah. available, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah and the beauty of being able to DJ with iOS devices is that it's it's so convenient. You know, most of us own iPhones, and you're able to DJ c completely from just one small device, and not even have to have the music on the device. You can stream your whole set from any of those four services. So it's really convenient to that. This is all we need now to run your whole performance. Yeah, for sure. You need like a stable internet connection for this. That's mm -hmm. important. But if you have this, you can like get into the huge catalog of streaming services to like get cool creative music for your DJ set. That's also an awesome feature. Yeah, and it also, of course, runs with the MacBook as well. So yeah, iOS or Mac devices, whatever your preference is. Yeah. Great. Um, okay, so we got um, like a lot of hardware features. Another big new feature on this controller is um, the DVS mode. And that for that, um, to show you that, we're going to do a little cut and rebuild our uh, uh, setup right here, like with a finger snap. And boom, we switched sides uh, real quick, and we got uh, our different setup right here. We added a Reloop RP8000 to our setup on our right side. Um, yeah, let's get, dive into the DVS features the Mixon 8 Pro brings with us. So yeah, like we said, we have the USB audio interface on the device. We can just connect our turntable uh, to our phono input. Um, we did this now for deck number, uh, deck number, number four, four, I guess, right? <coughs> okay, yeah, cool. And now we got DVS compatibilities. Um, just yeah. using, yeah. Do we want to talk real quick about how we connected this? Yeah, um, of course. So um, you'll need some kind of hub in order to um, connect an external uh, MIDI device. And of course, you know, we only have a USB C port on the iPad. So I'm using a easily available hub. I got this on Amazon and. So basically, the power is coming via the, a USB-C cable from the Mixon 8. So the iPad is getting powered through the Mixon 8. You don't need an external power source for the iPad. Then I have a regular USB-A to B for um, the data from the iPad and the Mixon 8. And then I have another USB-A to B for connecting the MIDI functionality of the RP8000 Mark II. And that's it. It's it's super simple. You obviously have to get your your routing correct um, in the settings of DJ Pro AI. But here we have uh, four decks on the go. Um, decks th one and three are controlled on this side. So that's deck one. I can toggle to deck three. But for this side, because I have two devices, I have uh, deck two on the mix on eight and deck four on the turntable. Yes, and um, yeah, we just did the setup process together. It's so nice and quick and easy how simple you can set up your four deck DVS um, mixing setup. Um, I'm really impressed by that. Um, Angelo, maybe you uh, uh, can give us a quick short demo, uh, one one or two performance things. Or, sure. Um, like to just demonstrate how cool it is yeah. to mix with four decks. The great thing about this is that you can now, you know, you can scratch on both decks and as long as you have your your through settings correct. I can play a beat on this side, and then and then switch to this. Yeah, 
Yeah, a lot of Quick fun. Quick and easy. A lot so, of fun. So nice, so easy to do. Um, DJ Angelo is also going to perform a bit more for us now. We got, uh, um, he prepared a little set for us, uh, which is going to follow up right after this clip. So um, yeah, enjoy this one and um, we see you in the outro. Ja, das war die Performance von unserem Special Guest heute, DJ Angelo. Wir hoffen, dass es euch auf jeden Fall gefallen hat. Vielleicht noch kurz als Zusammenfassung, an wen sich dieser Controller jetzt speziell richtet. Also es ist auf jeden Fall ein Controller für fortgeschrittene oder professionelle DJs. Und man sieht ihn, denke ich, am ehesten in einer Clubsituation, in einer Veranstaltungsstätte oder halt auch bei euch zu Hause im Wohnzimmer, um damit halt seinen Performance Workflow zu verbessern. Und halt bietet halt sehr viele Features der Controller für fortgeschrittene und professionelle DJs. Um, one question I would like to ask you, DJ Angelo. Mm -hmm. um, what's your favorite feature on this controller right now? So mm. do you have any special feature? And if so, which one is it? Yeah, I think for me, the four effects paddles. It's the first time it's ever been done. And uh, yeah, it, it just it just makes DJing so much more fun to to have that tactile use. And, and also being able to play four decks from even just an iPhone. That's crazy to me. So, yeah. yeah, I love that. Cool, awesome. So we know which favorite feature DJ Angelo's special feature is. Um, from my point of view, I personally love the dual audio interface compatibility so that you can use two different devices with this controller. This wasn't uh, available on the Mixon 4 before, and that's why I really love this Mixon A Pro as a controller. Um, okay, cool. Ähm, ja, jetzt springe ich wieder in die deutsche Sprache. Ähm, wir hoffen, das Video hat euch auf jeden Fall gefallen. Ähm, wenn das so ist, dann lasst uns gerne auf jeden Fall ein Like da. Schreibt uns in die Kommentare, wenn ihr noch irgendwelche Fragen habt. Oder abonniert auch gerne den Kanal, wenn ihr über neue Videos informiert werden möchtet. Ähm, thank you for being here, DJ Angelo, for visiting us in our studio. Nice, My pleasure. To, nice to meet you. Ähm, and, ähm, ja, ich würde sagen, wir sehen uns das nächste Mal im nächsten Vlog. Ähm, macht's gut, bis dahin. Ciao. Oh,